So this is a uh, TVZ, and I'm going to be <clears throat> experimenting with Hellbat drops, although they've nerfed the Hellbat in a small regard because um, <clears throat> they allow the Metadax to only carry two instead of four, which makes a big difference. So I'm going to try to put the Hellions in, see how that works, but I think I need to transform them. I really think the transformation is key, so we'll see. But um, what I do notice early is that he does not go for a second base, and I'm not sure why. He didn't end up doing any harassment, but he didn't go for the second base. He might have just screwed up. Yeah, he's not going for a second base. He's going gas immediately. <clears throat> so it looks like Ling speed, I guess. Ling speed to do some harassment. Looks like the option. I don't really see what he's doing. Okay, is just an incredibly late hatchery, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> so... I thought I was going to get harassed with Banelings or God knows what, so I did this crazy wall, and yeah, so here we go with a hatchery, hatcheries, he's going triple hatch, and on the income tab, he's bumped right up very quickly. So this is going to normalize into a very typical game real soon, and my harassment will ensue. So, I'm always getting that starport and that next factory. Very important. And here comes the supply depots. Move these down here. So, he's got roach it, Warren, and looks like he'll produce roaches in a little bit. Killed off those guys, put up a bunker. So he's doing a lot better income than me. He's just amassing tons and tons and tons of income. Alright, here comes my medevac and my hellbat, but they're in hellion form. And because of the timing of it, I decide I've got a second medevac, I'll fill it up with marines and see what that'll do since I've got them so I do two medevacs, one with marines, one with hellbats set up the tank have the units here let's see how he reacts he sees them okay so he's gonna react I should have gone way around the map. Here come the lings. This is All right, bad drop. I should have dropped them out here. Roaches and Hellions alone will do nothing. So this is just a very much of a losing battle. Killed no workers. Lost eleven thousand ten uh, lost a thousand in resources. Basically ineffective. It was way too late anyway. So that didn't do much. Now oh, he's going up to lair. Getting his upgrades. Here comes a little poking. Ah, he just leaves them. So, once I get that tank up, producing plus one, I decide I'm going to get rid of this, build a third. Very important. So, I do that. He's got a nice little roach army here. He's taking his fourth. Kill these off. Put down a third. And he's going to move out. He's at almost 200 supply to my 100 supply. And 
we're at about even, so it's 60 roaches is what this is. So I've got a command center building there and a command center building there. I've got more tanks, more marines, more hellbats all on the way. I've got my plus one going, plus one, plus one going. Here come a lot of roaches. And that's a bad idea. And he comes this way. He's gonna stream in the front here. And I've got a ton of stuff here. And he quickly realizes that's a bad idea. I've got doors coming, tanks coming, he thinks he can go back up and around. nothing got a lot of tanks spread pretty well these tanks cover both entrances the income tab he's got a huge five thousand dollar bank um, he's got plus one so his upgrades are really slow here he comes in All my forces are coming up. I lost pretty much very little. Now comes another force. We lost all that. But he's just losing a ton of stuff left and right trying to push in here. And then the income tab. I'm still holding strong here. My third's going well. Dropping mules. Getting my supply up to the max. He's producing Ultralisks and a Greater Spire. So there's your Ultralisk den. And... Ultralisk Cavern. Ah, there's your greater spire. Your spire turning into a greater spire. So, now we're at even supply, considering I've killed his army two times over. And he tried to do a bunch of pushes into my base. I've got a really good tank spread. Uh, now I've got Thors. And at this point, um, I'm getting. Uh, plus three, plus two, getting some armor upgrades. I mean, attack upgrades on my marines. Getting, I got my second starport and my second reactor on that, so that I can go right into Vikings if necessary, four at a time. I decide I'm going to push out. I'm at 180. He no doubt sees this. Our forces are under attack. Here's his force. And I scan up and I see it. Siege my tanks. Now that I see the um, corruptors, I've got Vikings on the way four at a time. I just freed up my supply. There's our greater spire. I try to go up in here, but he's got the ultralisk cavern in the back, so I probably should have scanned to see what was going on there. I wanted to go in and kill his tech, but my problem was I needed the hellbats. The hellbats, I did not. You can tell right now I've got a lot of big units, but I do not have anything to combat Zergling. I need Hellbats. Plus two, plus two Zerglings. So I took a big hit here. And then the bunch of Broodlords come. 
So, he's still got a pretty big bank. And uh, he's taking his next base. I've got a force here, so I siege up. But in this case, I actually do have Vikings. And I've got Hellbats. So my units are fine. I just need to get these blue lords killed. So he's coming at me at all angles. But I've got a lot of Vikings here. So he kills my ground army, which actually hurts, but I've still got more producing. And I drop a bunch of mules. Kill off these brood lords, siege my tanks, wipe out his army again, just crushing defeat, more than double. And now I go to take out his bases, little by little. Siege up here. He's got seven ultralisks on the way. At this point, I know that more ultralisks are possible and the marines aren't nearly as effective as marauders, so I need to get a bunch of marauders out here. So I'm just using these guys as a meat shield because I don't feel like they're going to be any more over, uh, any more corruptors or, um, or broodlords. So I just drop these guys, come in, take out this force, but little do I know, a lot of... Um, Ultralisks are about to pop. There they are. And a bunch of Zerglings. Thankfully, I've got a lot of Hellbats coming. But this is just a big army here. So now, retreat again. tries to come back at me again. So I start building tech labs on my barracks so I can start producing um, marauders. Tries to come in here, push him away. His ultras come up in here. Two ultras aren't going to do that much damage. So now I start producing Marauders, Stim, Combat Shield, some upgrades I might need if I'm going to start to have more of a bio army, and then tanks, Hellbats. He's maxed out again, and his units are Ultralisks and roaches. I'm going out, get a little diversion here. So I've got plus three, plus two. He's got plus two, plus zero, so his upgrades are way behind. Two, two on those. Alright, I'm back up to 200. We're both banking resources. Hellbats protecting on one side and the other. Tanks protecting all areas. Transferring drones. Sieging up. multiple angles, pull some back, and pull them forward again just to do a little bit more damage. We're trading fairly evenly right now.
So, he doesn't have any units. But he does have... You know, he had like 30 roaches on the way. 37 roaches on the way. Here they go, up against 2-3 marines. I mean, tanks. Marauders are taking care of the Ultralisks. The marines are taking care of that. He's building more roaches, 28 of them. I'm building more marines, hellbats, marauders. Uh, the roaches can't really do much streaming in little by little. And we've got some more roaches here. He's got some more roaches there. Oh, my tanks are sieged. Okay. I've got marine as well as vikings to deal with the, the corruptors we've got tanks crushing the roaches keeps pushing more and more he's got a bunch of zerglings on the way And we've got more blue lords on the way. Um, so I'm gonna need more Vikings. But my army's at 170, his army's at 130. So there we go. Got some mines. Got some. I need to get my force out of there. And let the Vikings do their work. So I get my force out of here, send the Vikings in to clean them up. These Broodlords are naked, they're alone. Pretty much can't do anything. Here come some Corruptors. Here come some Roaches. Vikings have plus one, plus two. Okay, here we go. Bunch of mines. Bunch of Zerglings. Another force. Right in there. He's still mining. We're both still mining. I have 90 harvesters, holy crap. Well, that's not good. Alright. So I start transferring more drones. I transfer them all up to here. And the game continues. Oh, GG. So, he had a bank again. Um, I wonder if he just ran out of larvae. Yep, looks like he's running out of larvae. Got a lot of bases. Kill that one. He just built a bunch of stuff. He used up the last of his larvae. He just doesn't have any more larvae. He's got 10, 20. Just decides he can't keep doing it. My army value wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't winning engagements. All right. Wow, six hundred, almost six hundred thousand to a little over three hundred thousand. Wow, true to one. If I get my macro in order, 
and am macroing on par with him with the Zerg, I should be able to really kill this. 